Rune 6, Vinamoinen's Hapless Journey. Vinamoinen, old and truthful, now arranges for a journey to the village of the Northland, to the land of cruel winters, to the land of little sunshine, to the land of worthy women. Takes his light foot, royal racer, then just a golden bridle, lays upon his back the saddle, silver buckled, copper stirruped, seats himself upon his courser, and begins his journey northward. Plunges onward, 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 galloping along the highway, and his saddle, gaily fashioned on his dappled steed of magic, plunging through Vinoila's meadows, over the plains of Kalevala. Fast and far he galloped onward, galloped far beyond Vin Vinola, bounded over the waste of waters, till he reached the blue sea's margin, wetting not the hoofs in running, but the evil Yukahinen nursed a grudge within his bosom, and his heart the worm of envy, envy of this Vinamoinen, of this wonderful enchanter. He prepares a cruel crossbow, made of steel and other metals, paints the bow in many colors, molds the top piece out of copper, trains his bow with snowy silver, gold he uses too in trimming, then he hunts for strongest sinews, finds them in the stag of his eye, and he reaves the flax of limpo, Ready as the cruel crossbow, string and shaft, and ends are finished. Beautiful the bow and mighty, surely cost it not a trifle. On the back a painted courser, on each end a cult of beauty. Near the curve a maiden sleeping, near the notch a hair is bounding. Wonderful the bow thus fashioned, cuts some arrows for his quiver, covers them with finest feathers, from the oak the shafts be fashioned. Makes the tips of keenest metal, as the rods and points are finished, then he feathers well his arrows from the plumage of the swallow, from the wing quills of the sparrow, hards well his feathered arrows, and imparts to each new virtues, steeps them in the blood of serpents, and the virus of the adder, ready now are all his arrows, ready strung his cruel crossbow, waiting for wise Vinamoinen. Yukahinen, Lapland's minstrel, waits a long time, is not wary, hopes to spy the ancient singer, spies at day dawn, spies at evening, spies he ceaselessly at noontide, lies in wait for the magician, waits and watches, watches as in envy, sits he at the open window, stands behind the hedge and watches, and the footpath waits and listens, spies along the box of meadows, on his back he hangs his quiver, in his quiver feathered arrows, dipped in the virus of the viper. On his arm the mighty crossbow, waits and watches and unwearied, listens from the boathouse window, lingers at the end of fog point, by the river flowing seaward, near the holy stream and whirlpool, near the sacred river's firefall. Finally the Lapland minstrel, Yukahina and Payola, at the breaking of, the, of the day dawn, at the early hour of morning, fixed his gaze upon the northeast, turned his eyes upon the sunrise, saw a black cloud on the ocean, something blue upon the waters, and soliloquized as follows. Are those clouds on the horizon, or perchance the dawn of morning? Neither clouds on the horizon, nor the dawning of the morning. It is ancient Vinamoinen, the renowned and wise enchanter, riding on his way to Northland, on his steed, the royal racer, magic courser of Wainola. Quickly now, you, now young Yukahinen, Lapland's fane and e evil minstrel, filled with envy, grasps his crossbow, makes his bow and re arrows ready for the death of Vinamoinen. Quick his aged mother asked him, spake those words to Yukahinen, For whose slaughter is thy crossbow? For whose heart thy poisoned arrows? Yukahinen thus made answer, I have made this mighty crossbow, fashioned bow and poison arrows for the death of Vinamoinen, thus to slay the friend of waters. I must shoot the old magician, the eternal bard and hero, through the heart and through the liver, through the head and through the shoulders, with his bow and feathered arrows, thus destroy my rival minstrel. Then the aged mother answered, thus reproving, thus forbidding, Do not slay good Vinamoinen, ancient hero of the Northland, from a noble tribe descended, he, my sister's son, my nephew. If thou slayest Vinamoinen, ancient son of Kalevala, then, alas, all joy will vanish, perish all our wondrous singing. Better on the earth the gladness, better hear the magic music, than without the nether region, than within the nether regions, and the kingdom of Tuni, and the realm of the departed, and the land of the hereafter. Then the youthful Yukahinen thought a while and well considered, ere he made a final answer. 
With one in her hand, he raised the crossbow, but the other seemed to weaken. As he drew the cruel bowstring, finally these words he uttered, as his, blo as his bosom swelled with envy. Let all joy forever vanish. Let earth's pleasures quickly perish. Disappear earth's sweetest music. Happiness depart forever. Shoot I will this rival minstrel, little heeding what the end is. Quickly now he bends his fire bow, on his left knee rests the weapon, with his right foot firmly planted, thus he strings his bow of envy. He takes th three arrows from his quiver, choosing well the best among them, carefully adjusts the bowstring, sets with care the feathered arrow, to the flaxen string he lays it, holds the crossbow to his shoulder, aiming well along the margin, at the heart of Vinamoinen waiting till he gallops nearer, in the shadow of a thicket, speaks these words while he is waiting. Be thou, flaxen string, dick. swiftly fly, thou feathered ashwood, swiftly speed, thou deadly missile, quick as light, thou poisoned arrow, to the heart of Vinamoinen. If my hand too low should hold thee, may the gods direct thee higher. If too high mine eye should aim thee, may the gods direct thee lower. Steady now he pulls the trigger, like the lightning flies the arrow over the head of Vinamoinen. To the upper sky it darteth, and the highest clouds it pierces, scatters all the flock of lamb clouds. On its rapid journey skyward, not discouraged, quick selecting, quick adjusting, Yukahainen, quickly aiming, shoots a second, speeds the arrow swift as lightning, much too low he aimed the missile, and to earth the arrow plunges. Pierces to the lower region, splits into the old sand mountain. Nothing daunted, Yukahainen, quick adjusting, shoots the third one. Swift as light, it speeds its journey, strikes the seed of Vinamoinen, strikes the light foot ocean swimmer, strikes him near his golden girdle, through the shoulder of the racer. Thereupon, wise Vinamoinen, headlong, fell upon the waters, plunged beneath the rolling billows from the saddle of the courser, from his dappled steed of magic. Then arose a mighty storm wind, roaring, roaring wildly on the waters, bore away old Vinamoinen, far from the land upon the billows. On the high and rolling billows, on the broad sea's great expanses, boasted then the young Yukahainen, thinking Vino dead and buried, these the boastful words he uttered, Nevermore, old Vinamoinen, nevermore in all thy lifetime, while the golden moonlight glistens, Never more will, wilt fix thy vision on the meadows of Wainola, on the plains of Kalevala. Full six years must swim the ocean, tread the waves for seven summers, eight years ride the foamy billows in the broad expanse of water, six long autumns as a fir tree, seven winters as a pebble, eight long summers as an aspen. Thereupon the Lapland minstrel hastened to his room delighting, when his mother thus addressed him, Hast thou slain good Vinamoinen, slain the son of Kalevala? Yukahainen thus made answer, I have slain old Vinamoinen, son, slain the son of Kalevala, that he may now plow the ocean, that he may sweep the waters, on the billows rock and slumber. And the salt sea plunged he handlong, in the deep sank the magician, sideways turned he to the seashore, on his back to rock forever. Thus the boundless sea to travel, thus to ride the rolling billows. This the answer of the mother. Woe to earth for this thine action, gone forever, joy in singing. Vanished is the wit of ages. Thou hast slain good Vinamoinen, slain the ancient wisdom singer, slain the pride of Suwantala, sw slain the hero of Wainola, slain the joy of Kalevala.